it's not the greatest weather to be in Bimini, but I'm still in Bimini. Just wanted to say it's absolutely been an amazing trip. So much fun's been had. I wish I could show you everything, but it's pouring down rain. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see the content we got coming out. I said take a shower, and you made it shower. <laughs> all right, Poseidon, all I need to do is put your, your trident. You'll be good to go. That's going to be over there. Okay, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> okay, headset right. here. Headset. Just take that. Where's your hook? We'll hang it up right yeah. here. Yeah, hang it up. Right. Get the seat cushion. Get, get the purple pad. <laughs> the purple pad. That's what it is. I know. I got one on my truck. <laughs> hey, at least we're cleaning out the bottom of the burner. Oh, it's not. It's not that wet. It's uh, <laughs> It's just heavy. Um. Uh, oh, the aircraft does leak. <laughs> uh, yeah. You think? Right there. Now, can you imagine if Garrett did come? <laughs> Freedom, Freedom 500 is delayed. Oh, the raindrops turned my camera off. <laughs> oh my God. I thought that was a drone recording. It's a bird. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Not an exact science. So part of the inspection process is inspecting a lot of stuff that's here on the aircraft. Um, one of those things is these are pressure sensors or pressure indicators. And you see there's a Schrader valve here and you actually put nitrogen in the blade. And then this indicator, if it's gold, you're golden. But we're here at the Blackhawk. I say we, me. <laughs> And uh, it's awesome. There's there's a Gulf Stream. I used to work on those. There's a section of the wing right about there. It's called the Beaver Tail, and I used to bake those when I was in actually Nashville. When I left Nashville, I went back to Savannah, and that was that was fun times. There's some really cool airplanes around here. One of which I would really, really, really love to have. And this little puppy right back here is the, one of the only surviving, I say surviving pushers, and um, has a sound all of its own, extremely unique aircraft, 
and uh, I'll put a description of it in the video. It's really, really cool. I don't wanna start walking around all the airplanes out here because that'll trigger a bunch of people. But there's also a couple interesting Dassault Falcons here. I worked for Dassault Falcon for about eight months as we developed a winglet program for them when I worked for a company called API. Now my background's aviation before I got into all this stuff that I'm into now. And it's always been one of my biggest passions. I love it. I worked on Black Hawks with Lockheed Martin for four and a half years doing what was called a reset program. We would strip these things all the way down to absolute bare helicopter. Nothing there, nothing left. <laughs> I mean, if you imagine, I feel like you stripped down a car, took the transmission, the doors, the glass, everything out of it. That's what I used to do with the Black Hawk helicopters. And then I worked at another facility. Uh, where was that? That was Alabama, the Redstone Arsenal. And we would, this is an alpha model. So it doesn't have, it doesn't have the sensors in the nose. It doesn't have a lot of other things. Um, it's called BFT, Blue Force Tracking. And it allowed the helicopter to identify ground force units on the ground um, and other friendlies so that for targeting systems or tracking or finding troops or personnel or equipment, we could uh, really do some damage to this thing. But it's one of the most robust aircraft ever made. And what's funny is it's now getting phased out as the Bell has a new 280. I'm telling you, after flying around on this, <laughs> um, there's, I still don't believe there's a better replacement. I really don't. So. I'll share what I can today. Absolutely beautiful day in SRQ, Sarasota, Florida. I'm about ready to get to work, but Ryan's not here yet. So um, I'll probably just start by pulling the ropes and go from there. everybody i just wanted to say how blessed i feel to be able to share this video with everybody it's been an amazing week i can't really say where i am you just might know i just want to say it's it's amazing to share the blessings that others have it's amazing to be a part of something bigger than myself i'm just speechless and it's been great it's been a crazy week it's not even a week it's been like four days help me build this channel and leave a comment i look forward to answering your questions it's been since 2008 since i've worked in the aviation industry it's been 2006 since i was a part of the reset program on blackhawks if anything <laughs> has come from this video other than my amazement of what this bird can do, the generosity of others and the blessings that God has given me to really just put back in my heart my passion for aviation. This has just been an incredible, incredible week. And um, 
I really just can't see where, I can't see where the future is gonna go, but I am so looking forward to being a part of it. Y'all have a blessed day. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and definitely leave a comment.